Uh, hello, my name is Matthew, and as a new project for the beginning of the year, I'm going to start a uh, library tour uh, video series where um, shelf by shelf I'll, I'll make a video uh, showing all of the books that I have on my bookshelves. And some of you may know that I live in a tiny house, and it was built by my uh, good friend Ben. He uh, designed it, we designed it together, and he um, drew out all the specs, and uh, he built it. I was his helper, and when we first sat down to brainstorm, the, the first thing that I said was that I wanted floor-to-ceiling bookshelves in the tiny house, and so the entire design process for the rest of the house uh, revolved around having a library section and we found um, uh, some redwood at an auction when we were building and that's what we turned into uh, these bookshelves that you can see uh, around me and for maybe the past 15 years something like that I've been accumulating books and I really did have this idea of creating um, my own uh, like ultimate library where I would have all of my favorite books and all of the things that I want to learn and all the authors that I uh, want to have uh, keep me company right at my fingertips. And um, it's an ongoing project. I'll have it for the rest of my life. But uh, for this series, you'll see all of the books that um, I have in my possession and on my shelves now. And uh, my plan is to uh, start on this side, on the bottom shelf, and just make a video for each shelf that goes up and around the doorway here, and then um, behind the steps, and go all the way up shelf by shelf, and then the next section right here, and go shelf by shelf. And I don't have um, a really determined plan on what I'm going to talk about. Um, some of my ideas are to uh, to show each book, uh, the author, the publisher, things like that, and maybe give um, an anecdote about the book, a brief summary of the book, um, how I learned about the author, or the novel, or uh, the history, uh, why I wanted to have it, why it, it interested me. And um, I've, I've read the majority of the books that I have, but there are also sometimes uh, the books that I'll buy because I, I know that in the future um, that they are books that I do want to read. So uh, an example that you might have heard me talk about is all of the uh, Roman history books by Livy, or maybe um, the collected writings of Goethe, or the speeches by Demosthenes, but books like that, that I just have and have maybe dipped into, um, but um, they, they just uh, interested me for some reason. Um, and as, as we go along, I'll um, talk about um, why I have all the books that I have. And uh, this is just an introduction video. Um, as we go along, um, please uh, feel welcome to uh, make suggestions if there's uh, certain things that you want, to, want me to talk about um, more, like focus on a certain aspect of uh, the books that I have or anything like that. Um, I'm really open and happy to hear uh, advice and suggestions. And this is just an introduction uh, vi video before we uh, begin. And so um, I hope this will be um, an interesting endeavor for anybody that's watching. And uh, that's it. I'm going to um, kind of show off uh, one of the best reflections of my own personality, which is um, 
the collections, the collection of um, the books that I want to have near me. Um, it will also be a good time for my own reflection to decide whether or not these are books that are still important to me. Some of them I might have to reevaluate and decide whether or not I'm going to keep them at all. So it'll be an interesting uh, project uh, all around, I hope. And um, that's all I'll say for now. Um, let me know what your thoughts are. If there's anything that, you, before I even begin, if there's anything that um, you think would be important to talk about, please let me know, things like that. So um, that's it for now. Uh, thank you for watching. Leave a comment if you would like and um, take care.